chapter 17, question 200. Um, they're asking you to find how many structural isomers are there uh, for methyl butanoate that are esters. Now, this is a very tedious question as you have to draw all the structures uh, that have different names, okay, different carbon skeleton. Because that is the meaning of structural isomers. Uh, but of course, we still have to use the same number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen because isomers, they have the same molecular formula. Now, let's start doing this. Now, what do I do is I will normally draw the compound that is no uh, branches first. Now, methyl butanoid, what can I do is, okay, this is one isomer, right? Now, the second one, I'll change this COO to uh, the next carbon. So, I have CH3. Okay, then CH2. Okay, O. Okay, C. O. Then after that, another 2 CH2. Sorry, 1 CH2 and 1 CH3. So this is the second one. Okay, after that, I'm going to draw CH3. Okay, simplify things. Okay, CH2. Okay, CH2 again. O. Okay, CO. Then CH3. Right, this is another isomer. Okay, now let's look at the fourth one. How can I draw the fourth one? Okay, the fourth one would be... I use a different color. Okay. Fourth one is CH3. CH2. CH2. Okay, CH2 again. Okay. O. C, double bond O, H. So this is my fourth isomer. Let's draw a few more isomers. I think there are still more isomers. Okay. Now, look at um, this one. Okay. I can... I can actually make one of the carbon to be a branch. Right, so let's start. Okay, I'll write from the right hand side CH3. Okay, COO. Then bonded to C. Then this C is bonded to 2 CH3. Here will be a H. So this will be my fifth isomer. Yes, yeah, you can. Just circle them so that you can see them better. Alright. Now, what I can see is I can also... Okay, put branches in this structure, right? Okay, now let's do this. Start from the right hand side. Okay, H. Okay, C double bond. Okay, O. Then I have this C. Okay, I'll put a CH3 on this carbon. Okay, then all of the carbons in straight line. H2, then H. 
Now this is my sixth isomer. Right, I can put this branch okay, on this carbon. So now this is the carbon with the branch. CH3. Alright, now this is the 7 isomer. Can I find more? You see, okay, 6 cannot be the answer because I found more than 6 already. And I found 7. So that means there is no 7 as answer. So it could be 8, 9 or 10. Now let's try to find more. Okay. Okay, I forgot I can also Okay, I can also reverse the OCO to COO. Okay? Okay. Right. Oh, actually not really. Okay, it will still be the same because I have already changed the position, right? Okay, let's look at this number one. What can I do is, you see, here you have three carbon. Okay, I can make these two carbon to become CH3 and CH3. Alright, let's draw this. C. Okay, CH3. CH3. Okay, H here, C, O, O, C, H, 3. Alright, this is our 8th isomer. It's the first one. Mm, let me see if we can find another isomer. If we cannot, then the answer will be 8. Oh, yes. Actually, we can. I just realized. Okay. When we have 4 carbon like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. We can make this carbon to be bonded to 3 CH3. So, in this case, we have found another isomer. 9. So, now we know, we have confirmed that 8 is not the answer. Let's see if we can find another one. Mm, I don't think so. I think we have found all the uh, structural isomers for C5, H10O2 which are esters okay so the answer should be nine 